Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.1 beta 2 update on my iPhone XR. So I've been using this update for now 3-4 days and in this video, I'm going to talk about battery life, performance and many of you had questions how to get this update on your older devices like iPhone XR and iPhone 11 since it's pretty important update for especially older iPhones. So we're going to talk about this iPhone XR, how is it performing on iOS 16.1 beta 2 update. So make sure you watch this video till the end and it will be especially important and useful for you if you're holding an iPhone XR or iPhone 11, especially the older iPhone. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings in general and if I tap on about section and if I tap on the iOS version, as you can see, the iOS 16.1 version and the new build number is 20B5050F. Now many of you have asked me that you still haven't got this update. Now the reason behind that is because you are running on iOS 16 or probably you are running on the stable series of update. Now this is not a stable series of update. Now if I show you, if I go to the general and if I click on this VPN and device management, as you can see there is a separate profile installed on my iPhone XR. If I click this, it says iOS 16 beta software profile. So do keep in mind that if you want to try out the latest and the new features of iOS softwares, then you have to install this iOS 16 beta software profile. I have mentioned this multiple times in my videos previously, but then again, you want to install the iOS 16 beta software profile from where you can get it. You have to go to beta.apple.com. And you know, for your iPhone particularly, you have to download the beta profile. Once the profile is downloaded, you just simply need to install the profile and restart your phone and check for the software updates. Now, if you have already installed the iOS 16 beta series of you know software updates, then you probably are on iOS 16.1 beta 2. So let's talk about why this update is important for older iPhones like iPhone XR, the one that I'm holding here, or iPhone 11. Uh, since the time iOS 16 has launched and we all were aware about the fact that iOS 16 gives us a battery percentage. But you know, many people were disappointed that with the older iPhones, especially with iPhone XR, and iPhone 11 that battery percentage feature was not available just to make you clear what I'm talking about if I go to the battery section as you can see this battery percentage feature right now is available on iPhone 10R and iPhone 11 now this update has been given with iOS 16.1 beta 1 update now why beta 2 is more important than beta 1 is the fact that you know many people were complaining about the battery percentage I mean what you can see on the top because if you closely look at it it just gives you a numerical representation of the physical battery what is left on your iPhone for the day but with iOS 16.1 beta 2 not only you get the battery percentage feature apart from that you know there is a real time representation of how much charge is left on your phone so if you look at it closely right now 38 percent battery is left on my iphone 10r and you still see the you know graphical representation that the battery has been depleted this much this much is left so it makes easier for you to understand how much percentage of battery is left not every time you have to look at the numbers very closely and determine oh it's 25 percent but still you know you don't understand because the battery graph hasn't depleted and then you forget charging your iPhone. So Apple has taken the feedback and tried to fix that. So that's why this iOS 16.1 beta 2 update is very important for all of you if you are running on beta softwares. Now talking about when you can expect this update, at the time of recording this video, this is month of September. I said this before as well in the month of October. I uh, know Apple will be releasing iOS 16.1 for everyone. So if you are on iOS 16 at the moment or iOS 16.0.2, then you can expect iOS 16.1 update, especially in the next month. So in with that update, you will have the you know battery percentage depletion option with which you can you know actually determine how much battery is left on your iPhone in a better way so that's new now talking about this iphone 10r you know people had many concerns about iphone 10r since it's, it's a four year old iphone but still i would say the performance is good 
you know i wouldn't say it's exceptional but you know if we talk about the performance you know i'm just scrolling through you why you know i open applications and close that you know in terms of keeping the applications in memory and everything so it just works well i wouldn't say it is exceptional but if you try to compare it with, with newer iphones like iphone 13 or iphone 14 then definitely iphone 10r will fall short because it's a four year old iphone but then again i'm pretty much surprised how well this iphone 10r performs and i would like to take a moment to appreciate the fact now talking about especially the battery if i go to the battery health and charging option so as you can see it has dropped till 88 percent so i've been using this device for last three years and after using this device three years i haven't used all the time th this iphone as my primary device but still having 88 percent capacity left after using it for three years it's a great achievement i would say now if we talk about the battery if i show you because as you can see from the graph it is pretty evident that i don't use this phone as my primary phone but i have to say do, although i don't use this phone as my primary phone this is actually kept side so i can test new features and things like that but i would have to say with ios 16.1 beta 2 the standby time is actually improved in comparison with the older ios releases so i have to say i last charged it two days back and still you can see i didn't use this device still i have 37 percent battery left so that means the standby time has improved a little bit. So that's regarding the battery and talking about the performance. I've shown you the Geekbench 5 scores before as well. If I talk about it now, as you can see, you can't expect great single and multi-core scores, but the scores are in front of you. The single core score is 1113 and the multi-core score is 2672. Now, if you're having an iPhone 10R and you have a Geekbench 5, let me know what are your scores so that I will have a fair idea how my iPhone 10R is performing after three years. So with the help of this video, I just wanted to let you know about the battery life and performance of iPhone 10R. Although this isn't my primary device, but I talked about the standby time and how is it performing in terms of the in general performance. So this iPhone 10R is a great device. You know, if you have a secondary device, then definitely you can use to test out the new features. Although all the new features at the moment are not available with this iPhone 10R. But if you still have it as a secondary device, then, you know, you can pretty much use it for everything. Most of the feature works with iPhone 10R, and it's still a good looking device. You have a single camera over here and you have the Apple logo and then you have the notch. So it doesn't look bad. So at all. So then again, that's it for this video. With the help of this video, I just wanted to give you my impression, you know, after using iOS 16.1 beta 2 for a couple of days and also wanted to appreciate this device because because I have been using it for a very, very long time. The most of my subscribers who are connected to me and for uh, are there for a very long time, they know about this. But still, this is the iPhone 10R on iOS 16.1 Beta 2. I'll be testing out the new features probably in the next week, iOS 16.1 Beta 3. I'll talk about what are the updates that we receive on this iPhone 10R. So if you want to watch out the new videos then consider subscribing to the channel i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up as well that motivates me and i will see you on my next video bye bye